What's going on guys, Matt Service here. Today I wanna to talk about what supplements I'm currently taking and why I'm taking those supplements. So to get into it, we're gonna start from when I wake up to when I go to bed, the supplements that I'm taking in order. As soon as I wake up, I start with my multivitamin and my fish oil. A few key pointers about the multivitamin and the fish oil. They're the two most basic supplements outside of you know your proteins, creatines, free workouts that I recommend people to take just for general health. First off, my multivitamin is capsulated. This allows for the vitamin to be in a more natural form. Two, it's a men's active multivitamin, so it's heavily dosed in water-soluble vitamins that are lost in sweat for guys that are active and sweating in the gym, like me, and probably yourself. With fish oils, you want to find a fish oil that is not a bright yellow color, like the fish oils you see in Walmart, because those are very poorly processed. A good fish oil has kind of a gold, syrupy tint to it, also, you want your EPA and DHA milligrams to total about 1,000 milligrams or one gram total of EPA and DHA. That's how you know it's a well-dosed fish oil. Second, I take calcium and magnesium for bone health, glucosamine and chondroitin for joint health. I take vitamin C and D, and then I take two powders in the morning. It is a greens powder and a reds powder. I take these from a company called First Form. They're called Opti Greens and Opti Reds. Absolutely love First Form because they make the most quality supplements in an FDA regulated facility. And I really like following Andy Frisella and the message that he puts out, not only in regards to fitness, but life, business, and everything in general. So Andy, if you're watching this, sponsor me, please. Your supplements are kind of expensive, but they're really nice. So it's worth the price. Anyways, moving on. After I take these powders, my next supplements will be powders, multivitamins, everything like that. My next one will be probably my pre-workout and my pump product that I take before the gym. The pre-workout that I'm taking right now is called EvoGym, um, EVP Extreme. I really like the company EvoGym. With pre-workouts, I'll go really anything. Uh, my all-time favorite is Pre-Phase by Phase One Nutrition. It's kind of a smaller company. I think they're based out of here in Kansas, where I'm from but you can get them online anywhere. Pre-phase is one of the best pre-workouts I recommend if you're looking for a nice blend of a bunch of different ingredients and not just a few stimulants or a few things for pump or you know a few things here and there. It's really got a full label and it's full disclosure. It tells you everything you're getting in there and so you know exactly what's going into your body. Basically, when you're shopping around for pre-workouts, anything in a real big tub is gonna be a blend of all your focus, pump, stimulants, everything like that. Anything in a smaller tub is gonna be usually straight stimulants, and then you have your pump product, which is zero stimulants for the people that are psychopaths and can work out on no caffeine. I am not one of those people. So I put an extra pump product into my pre-workout. That one I take is called Titan Pump. It's the one I'm currently on right now. That one's really heavily dosed in citrulline with a little bit of glycerol. The difference between citrulline and glycerol is that citrulline is a vasodilator, just pumps up the blood vessels so you can get more blood flowing through there. Glycerol actually is pulling water and nutrients in your muscle cell instantaneously and volumizing the muscle cell during the workout so you get a nice full pump as in, instead of a veiny kind of pump. So having both of those mixed together makes for a great product. And then it has a little bit of things for focus, you know, your beta alanine, everything like that. Then after my workout, I take two products from First Form called Ignition and Formula One. Formula One, bear with me. This is a low temperature processed, 100% hydrolyzed, cross-flow, microfiltrated, hydrolyzed protein powder, protein isolate. Sorry, protein isolate. You want an isolate protein after a workout because it's quicker digesting. It's gonna get you into a building state faster after you're done working out because when you're in a workout, you're in a breakdown state where your muscles are breaking themselves down. What we wanna do is put them into a building state after a workout as quick as possible so you're not losing out on precious recovery time. Pairing that with ignition is a straight glucose powder. It is the most broken down form of a carb or a sugar. It's a simple carbohydrate. Things like complex carbohydrates are called polysaccharides, which means there's a little bit more to them Monosaccharides have been broken down to their simplest form. What it does is it makes it digest faster, just like the protein isolate. So when you have a quick digesting carb and a quick digesting protein, you're able to refill your muscle glycogen and repair the tears you made to your muscles in the gym as soon as possible. 
the reason we wouldn't want to do like a slow digesting carb, like some rice after a workout, and maybe some chicken breast, is that you work really hard to flush, like say you just did a big bicep and back day. You know, you got a lot of blood in your biceps, you got a real nice pump, your back is feeling full, you eat a bunch of rice and a bunch of chicken after you work out, you know, the typical meal that people go for. What that chicken and rice is gonna do while it's trying to be digested by your body and your stomach, is gonna pull all that blood in your biceps and your back, and it's gonna put it into your gut to try and help you digest that slow digesting food you just ate. So the benefit of doing something quicker digesting is that that blood can stay in your biceps, it can stay in your back, you can take it down real quick and it shoots you into a building state and your body becomes anabolic once again. Aside from a protein isolate, I take, again, bear with me, a low temperature processed, microfiltrated whey protein blend. Basically the blend has things like, maybe it's got some milk protein in it, it's got some whey protein concentrate, it's got some whey protein isolate, a bunch of different types of proteins that will blend together to digest a little bit slower. 15 minutes for the isolate, two to three hours for your protein blend. This is why they call them meal replacements. You cannot drink two scoops of protein and call it a meal. The reason it's called a meal replacement is because it digests like a meal would. But again, it doesn't take the place of a nice nutritious whole food meal. It is just good to get a little bit of extra protein in whether or not you're bulking, cutting, whatever your goal is, it's a nice tool there for you. When I use it, I use it in my shakes in the morning. I use it in the middle of the day to kind of bridge the gap between two meals that I eat, my two beef and rice meals. I'll have a protein shake and banana real quick in there because I got a lot of clients throughout the day and I'm kind of busy and sometimes I just want to slam a shake, a banana, and that's why it's very convenient to have around. A lot of people also would like to do it right before bed if they don't feel like eating before bed they can just take down 50 grams of protein real quick and their body's going to be good to go throughout the night before bed i take something called night tea and magnesium these all just help me get into a deeper state of REM sleep help me regulate all of my hormone levels throughout the night get a good night's rest and wake up feeling a little bit more refreshed like i had more sleep than i actually did sleep is something that's very 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 important to me i stay on a strict sleep schedule um, I do use the app on my iPhone where I have the set times that I wake up every single day and it tells me when to go to bed and I stick to that religiously. So I am in bed by the time it tells me to get in bed and more often than not, I'm trying to wake up when it tells me to wake up. Sometimes it doesn't happen like that, but I try to be as strict as I possibly can with it. So these supplements just help me to regulate my sleep schedule a little bit better. Supplements that I have taken before that I don't really take on a day-to-day -day basis would be creatine and glutamine two things people have probably all heard of. A big misconception about creatine is that it's very toxic to your body. And apparently there was a study that was done that says if you have a high amount of phosphocreatines in your body, that is a precursor to kidney failure. But that is only true with people who aren't supplementing with creatine. If you are supplementing with excess creatine, putting it into your body, a high amount of phosphocreatines is normal and not going to be a sign of kidney failure. As well as they say, creatine causes bloating. If you monitor your water intake, you're drinking about a gallon a day, making sure you're staying on top of it. Creatine won't necessarily cause bloating. What it is going to do is it's going to pull water and nutrients into your muscle cell, which is good for, which is good for muscle growth. As well as it's going to create something called ATP, which is your muscle's primary energy source. So it's going to help you be a lot freaking stronger while you're working out. Glutamine is another one that helps with recovery. It's an amino acid. You can throw a little bit into your protein shake after a workout. Protein already has all of your amino acids because amino acids make up protein. But if you want a little bit of extra glutamine, you can always throw it in there. Something I recommend, some people I'd recommend to take glutamine would be anybody that has intestinal issues because glutamine will actually help strengthen the inner lining of your intestines and make that a little bit healthier. And so if you have any kind of intestinal issues, especially if you're in like the off season and you're pounding a bunch of food down, glutamine would be a good thing to look into. And during prep, what I like to drink throughout the day is BCAAs. There's a lot of controversy about BCAAs. It's a waste of money. It builds the most muscle ever. Who freaking cares? It tastes really good. Amino acids are good for you. During prep, I drink <laughs> probably two scoops at least in between every single meal, just to bridge the gap in between those meals. One, to keep my muscles nice and full, feeling good. Two, it tastes really good. And I like to drink it, it makes me feel good. So, 
I got nothing bad to say about it. If you don't want to spend the money on it, don't. But if you're okay spending the money on it, do. That is all I have to say about that. Those are the supplements that I'm currently taking. If you have any questions about anything I said or any questions about anything I didn't say, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.